What's going on YouTube? It's Aaron here. I just got off a call with Cole, who is one of my subscribers, and he had a couple questions about how to approach businesses when you're cold messaging. And we talked about other ways we can get SMMA clients as well. I also took a look at his website and just told him, like, you know, gave him a few pointers. And I also told him how to set up billing for his, uh, for his uh, future potential clients. And yeah, so if you have questions that you want to get answered, you want to just talk with me one on one, like we did on this call right here feel free to comment below and also send me a message on my Facebook page, which if you're on my Facebook page, you might as well like it as well. And yeah, I'll hit you up and then we can just, you know, get on a call and then we can just talk face to face about how to actually, you know, with any questions you have regarding getting clients for your SMMA agency or just running Facebook ads in general. With that said, let's get on to the call. There you are. Okay. <laughs> All right. So... Can you just, because you, you kind of like were spotting on and on. So can you just go talk about your, um, your pitch again that you sent? I thought so far that it sounded pretty, sounded pretty good other than it just being long. Can you just go through it like one more time? Yeah, hopefully it doesn't cut out here. I got my iPad right here. Nice. Right. Um, okay. And then like the person you're connecting to. Yeah. Um, I love your, I love what your company is doing. And terms of your online preference, mm -hmm. there are a few other things you could do to take your strategy to the next level, mm -hmm. such as using tools that allow you to better target your audience based on your time, or based on their time and date. Um, if you have time, jump on a quick call and discuss these basic tactics. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with reading it. Yeah. Uh, well, you like me to send you a report on your time. Either way, it's free of cost. And I think we want to talk more and provide some advice and learn more about your business. Mm -hmm. If this sounds good to you, click, click on the five, six, three times. Cheers, Cole. Okay. And then how do they, I can think of a few things you can do. How do they reply to that message? Like, would they just say, oh, thanks for the free report, and then, you know, never again? Or um, Yeah, that's how I, that's how it went out. Mm -hmm. Um. That's what happened for like, because I've gotten, I've gotten probably eight responses on that, and they're, and they're all like, they're, they're all like really pumped about it. They're like, yeah, no problem, let's do it. Yeah. Like, then, so you got, wait, so you got on a call? You got on a call with these people? So, you get on a call, I just sent them a report, they yeah. say, and then they, they looked over it, and then they never contacted me again. And I, I did like a follow up. I was like, okay, I was like, hey, would you like to schedule a call, or hey, would you like to, something with that mm -hmm. with me and there's never a response. Okay. Using that anymore and I'm like, no, I'm just stuck. All right. I don't know what to do. Yeah. So yeah. Um, so here's the thing with that. So you follow up, but you followed it up, but you're still asking for something. You're still being like, hey, thanks. It's like you kind of expected it from them. So you like, you followed up with them. You're like, um, hey, here's the report. Now let's get on a call. So instead of next time you follow up, I encourage you to keep using that approach because you're giving value. Just say, hey, how did you find, how did you like the report? Is there anything, you know, what did you learn from it? Like ask more about the report and, um, you know, okay. ask like what value they got from it or was there anything in the report missing? Or you can send them another thing that's, you know, related to their business as well. So instead of asking for a call, ask for you want to ask like you know for um just how it was the report and get their feedback on that get their feedback on it and keep them talking because when they're talking they're gonna be like oh wow this report was amazing i didn't see that i didn't see this and then another thing you can do is that you can say hey um there's this other flaw that like i saw with your website or with your website or whatever and you can be like let's get on a call so I can tell you how to fix it because you because if you're just like hey let's get on a call they're just gonna think oh, okay he's just gonna try to sell me on Facebook do you do Facebook ads or SEO like what, what kind of a service do you offer like just Facebook Instagram and LinkedIn Facebook. it depends on LinkedIn but I'll okay so just like let's just say Facebook and Instagram ads so they know that you're just gonna be trying to sell them on that but yeah. if you're saying hey I see this hole in your business. Let's talk about it together so we can discuss how, A, you can fix that hole. And then they're going to see how, like, smart you are with doing that. And then they're going to, you know, 
they're going to automatically just ask. Or then you can just ask at the end of the call, like, hey, would you want me to do this for you for free for two weeks? Because the point is you want to show them, like, you kind of want to show the business, like, how much they need to do. Yeah, value. And, like, how much work they need to do. And then the business is going to be like, oh, I don't want to do that. And then, you know, alongside with, uh, you know, running my own business. So then you can just say, hey, I'm here. I can do it for you for free for like a week or two. And then we can discuss more about it working long term. And then your week, your free week trial or free two week trial is your way of, is your like your go to. Like you're, you're going to get in. And then once you show them results, once you've made them money already, then they'll be foolish to say no. And even if they do say no, just ask for like a testimonial. And then that's the least they can do. And then you can use that testimonial to, um, you got to more clients. So did you did you get all that? I got all that, yeah. Awesome. Um and also with your cold message. Yeah. Um also with your cold message, it it is good, even though it is kind of long, but it's not really personalized to the business. So you're saying, Hey, I seen your online presence and I love it. Mention something that they've done online so like mention like you know that deal they have do you use their name at all like the business owner's name or do you just not use the name yeah do you use, use his name okay yeah, I use, I use his name. Yeah. yeah so i would just you know mention something that they specifically done just being like oh hey i like you know that green banner on the about section of your page or something like that you know something along those lines so that business yeah. knows that you're just not saying that to every single business and then when you say that, like, oh, hey, I found something that can improve your business, I would mention that specific thing because the business owner is going to be like, oh, wow, like, he's, he's going to be like, oh, wow, he's right. I've always had that problem, but I just never fixed it. Or they're going to be like, oh, wow, I never knew that I had this problem. Mm -hmm. So if you make your cold message approach, approach yeah. more personalized, which it does take more work, but, you know, it's going to be worth it at the end because it seems like you're getting replies and it seems like you're getting, uh, it seems like you're getting, like, you know, the business owners are responding to you, but you can't just, you know, go for the sale immediately. Yeah. But, yeah. But overall, that's just the, that's just the game of the cold approach, so. Mm -hmm. um, so what are some other, like, approaches that I can take to get more clients? Yeah. Okay, so one thing, if you've probably watched one of my recent videos, I went to a BNI meeting, a Business Network International, and yeah, I saw that. and having that face-to-face -face type of thing is so much more advantageful than doing it through a message, than doing it through a computer screen, because especially like at like networking yeah. events, um. You're literally right there. You can, you, they literally are seeing your face. And it's, I remember reading something or hearing something that's just like 55% of like your language is convinced through body language, which you can't get on a computer screen. So that's why, you know, the cold approach is just so, unfortunately, it's not the best because they can't see your body language. They can't see the smile on your face and they can't see that you're genuinely there to help them so some other ways so that's why like i want to i'm going to still do the cold approach um but i want to start focusing and this is just for you know you and like everyone else i want to start focusing on the uh like face-to-face -face approach because it is it is more time consuming but it's i feel a lot more worth it like with my bni meeting i was able to book four warm calls who I'm going to, like, call very soon. And uh, that's, you know, a lot more than with, like, cold messaging where you can send thousands and thousands of cold messages, but, you know, maybe you only get, like, four or five calls from that. And then from those calls, they still haven't even seen your face. So one thing is... Yeah, the only problem with that for me is there's no one, like, we don't have these types of events where I live. Have you, have you tried looking? Have you, like, looked it up or... You, you've tried? Yeah. yeah. yeah so then one thing you could also try doing is um, 
uh, like actually just going to the business themselves, like actually like going up to them, like research, like research, let's say five to 10 of these businesses and that like, you know, that look really promising, have, have a good website and either aren't running Facebook ads or if they are running Facebook ads, you want to point out the mistakes in those Facebook ads. So you want to be saying, oh, what they could be doing better and stuff like that. So you go into the business. I read something on my, you can bring in like, yeah, keep going. Uh, so that's the only problem for me yeah. in terms of um, going into businesses mm-hmm. is my age. How old are you? Well, I'm 17, but yeah. I sure don't look like I'm 17. Right? <laughs> well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter how old you are. If you can provide, I've seen, you know, 16-year-olds have like six-figure agencies and stuff like that. It doesn't really matter of your age. I mean, sure, yeah. some people might be turned off by it, but it's like... If you can show them that true potential value, and then you can put in a lot of effort, they're not gonna. They're not gonna care what age you are. You can be. Okay, no, you can't be ten because that'd be legal. But like, you can you can be like. Yeah. yeah, you get you get you get my point. You can be oh, younger, okay. but yeah. yeah, but like if you can provide that value, and they're gonna be even more impressed when if you they're gonna be more impressed about it because you're that young and you you have that much knowledge of Facebook ads. And if you can relate it yeah. to their business and like you know give them ideas of how they can use Facebook ads like tailored to their own business, then it's gonna be so much better. And they're they're gonna like give you props for it too. So you know don't let the age factor you know turn you down because there are people that are younger than you that are you know doing the same exact thing. And of course some people are gonna say no, but it doesn't matter who says no. You just gotta find that that person. Those people who are gonna say yes and focus on those people. So don't let age, you know, bring you down. And many, you know, seventeen-year-olds and okay. like younger are doing it. So don't be afraid to do it. And it's worth a shot, right? So here's a, another quick thing. So like, just think of it like you have right now, however many, however many or so clients you have. So let's say you know you have like no clients right now. If you go out and ask, if you go out to these businesses and ask. And they all say you no. Know, they all slam the door at your, in your face. You still are at zero clients. You haven't gone down. You don't have negative clients. You still have zero clients. So you have nothing to lose. Yeah. And let's say you go to these five. Let's say, you go, let's say you go to these businesses. You get one client. You're higher now. You're up. You have everything to gain. Yeah. So don't worry. Yeah. You know, if you know, if you ask like five, ten, twenty businesses, and they all say no. Because you're you're going to be the same spot you are now, and you know it's that's not bad. You're not losing anything, but you have any, nothing. You have you only have stuff to gain. So, yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Oh, you made a website. Wow, um, would you take a look at it? Can you tell me some things that I might need to fix? Yeah, sure. Um, let me go on. Did you send it to me through Messenger or? Uh, Skype. Uh, messenger. Messenger? Where can I see Not it? Not your personal. I'll send it to your personal if you want. Uh, oh, you send it to my, uh, oh, no, it's okay. I still have access to my, um, I still have access to my, what's it called? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Where is it? Is it there? All right. So, you, so you made a website too. You didn't, have to make a website. It's pretty, pretty dope. How long did it take you to make the website? I know. It's only took me an hour. Uh, oh really? Oh dang. How do how do you use it's Wix? Oh really? Yeah. Oh, well, I, sh- I should do that. <laughs> I feel it only took you an hour. Yeah, I just use Wix. Right. Yeah. And then, I don't know why. I was thinking. I was thinking about this for the future. Mm-hmm. I also want ebook to go with it. So oh yeah, that's perfect, dude. Ebook to go with it just for like the future. Yeah. For when I start running ads, right? I can use that. As- Get them coming in. Yeah, no, ebooks definitely. Um, you can. Um, do you send this ebook to your? Uh, do you send that ebook to your? You know, when you cold message them, like, is that the report you're talking about? No, I actually send them like a video report of like the whole website. Like, I oh, okay. Website yeah. It's like I, I, I don't go over like fully because I don't want to like 
professional that will use like some things that are practical possible without over a call. Mm-hmm. But I just I point to the main issues like to the website, and then I again complement things that are put on the website. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Um. And do you do you do the do you do the um? Put you back on it here. I don't know. On Skype. Did you did you do do the uh what they called? Do you send the messages first and then they say yeah okay and then you do the review or do you do the review or do you do the review first and then send the message and then hope that they like respond to it? No, I send that I send that message mm-hmm. that I read out to you and then usually they would respond. Okay. And then um then I send them the review because that's how I know that they trust it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm just really bad at the follow up after it. Yeah, the fault. Yeah, and we talked about the the follow up. Okay, so your website is, I I like it. It's nice and simple. New clients await, so that's pretty nice. What's your niche? Do you have a niche yet? Um, I don't. Wait. Huh? Car dealerships. Oh, car dealerships. Okay, nice. So if you're if you're focusing on car dealership, um, also first thing is your background. Um, it kind of gets in the way of your words. Uh, say more on marketing. Um, so maybe just change the background so it or it changes the font of the of the uh, words because um it's kind of hard to see. Um, new clients would contact us to get the best offer from our marketing agents. So, so what does that mean, like? What what do you mean the best offer? Well, you know, you got different like you got different plans and mm-hmm. things like that depending on like you know, I got different plans, right? For yeah. Doing ads. Yeah, so like as as a as in like what I approachable. Yeah. So um how like how is a person supposed to know all the, like that you have plans just from the best offer. Yeah. So one thing I would do is say yeah. contact us. You know, say, and also add um, you know, like today or like contact us today right now to get a customized uh social media plan to that's going to like you know skyrocket your business or get you ten x more customers or something like that. I like the new clients awaits. Um, is there any specific term that uh? That these that car dealerships use to uh, that car dealerships use to you know refer to new customers. What do they just say, customers? Use clients, customers. That's really just okay. So they just they just use clients. Okay. So yeah, that's just that's just because like you want want to just talk in their language. So maybe just try saying new. Car dealership customers, clients await, or just saying new, new clients await, ready to buy your car or something like that. You want to show the results that people want. Um, what we do yeah. at Simmore Marketing, um, marketing expert training, peace and awareness. Um, okay. Um, yeah. So. For, yeah. So also, when you say that you're a digital marketing expert, generating content to increase awareness of services and products, if you're specifically going to do car dealerships, um, which I recommend you start out, make just make sure you use the word expert digital marketer for car dealerships, and say that you know how how to portray your value specifically to car dealerships more. Because when I'm reading this, I'm thinking that you're an expert digital marketer and just everything. And if I'm a car dealership, I'm going to be like, okay, he just is gen- yeah. general dig- digital marketing. But if you say car dealership digital marketing, they're going to be like, oh, wow. Like, like dang, I need a, like, if he does car dealership marketing, then I can use him. Find your dream client. Free appraisals, fast results, large coverage. Um, nice. I like the pictures down here. Um, let's see. Very simple website, and then you have an ebook here. Um, click on the ebook. Um, when people click on the ebook, 
Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. You have, you have a uh, name and email, so you're capturing leads. Yeah. Uh, no, but it's good that you're capturing leads with it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um. How long have you been doing digital marketing for, or like, have you just started, or? Long, really long. Not really. Yeah, that's right. Two months, but I've been just trying to. I, for the first month, I was annoying really, really, really hard on it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so. Alright, so yeah, just change this. Um, a... There you go. Okay, yeah, so just for the website, just um, change. Just add more stuff so it's very specific to. Um, to car dealerships, if that's the, you know, the niche you want to go after. And mm -hmm. yeah, and that's pretty much it. And also just change the background so that uh, it complements, you know, the Sawyer marketing. And also have like a catchphrase as well. So maybe under Sawyer marketing, say more marketing, I don't know why I say Sawyer, have like, have a catchphrase that rhymes because rhymes stay, stay in your, uh, oh, you do have one here, marketing in your dreams. Uh, uh, I would have a catchphrase that relates to car dealerships and that rhymes because I feel that rhyming um, rhyming catchphrases always stick into your mind. Like, yeah, I mean, I can't think of any right now, but, you know, if people see that, they're going to be thinking, oh, okay, say yeah. more money. Yeah. All right. Um, so, yeah, the website's overall pretty good and pretty simple, which is nice. You want it as simple as possible. Because the only the purpose of your website is to you know just to capture the leads. Um, has has anyone actually uh, um um become a lead through it like on the ebook or not yet? Which is fine. Just just started. Um, like I haven't put the ebook into place yet. Running ads, I only have any like ads spent. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so just you know focus on you know if you can go to these businesses or even if you're just out and about talking to people always just be ready to tell people that you're doing digital marketing and then just always just being like i can you know just always just provide value to them just say oh what kind of restaurant like let's say they at, let's say you're talking to a business owner and just out and about and they say that they own a restaurant and they just be like oh do you run facebook ads for your restaurant if you just have like you know a picture of you know great food running as a facebook guy you'll get so many customers and then the business owner's either going to be like, yeah, we do that, or he's going to be like, no, like, tell me more about it. You might pique his interest about it. And you never know, we can, you know, sign up a first client. So, yeah, overall, just if you can't go out there and, like, talk to these businesses, keep doing the cold approach to make it more personalized. When you follow up with them, just add more value. When you follow up, just be like, hey, I also just found this other problem. Let's get on the call and talk about it. Because if you're just saying, again, hey, what time do you want to book a call? That's just like, an, okay, he just wants to sell me. That's what everyone else says. But if you provide value, just be like, hey, let's get on a call because I saw something else that you might want to know about. He might still say no. Like, they're not going to always say yes. But, you know, you have a better chance and they're more inclined to do it. So, yeah. Do you have any more questions or... Um, that's really, oh, I guess it's Darling. Yeah, um, let me show, uh, can I share my screen? Can I share my screen? Um, so pretty much for billing, it's very simple, actually. You can, um, usually some business owners just want to do checks, and they'll just give you a check, and then that's easy enough. But if you want to do, like, automatic, yeah. So it's okay. Do you want to do, if you want to do like um automatic recurring uh, bills, what you want to do is you want to create a, uh, is that what you, you want, what you want to do is you want to create a PayPal business account. And it's free. It's, yeah, it's completely free and all that. So um, yeah. what you do is, uh, I wish, I must be able to share my screen. No. Oh, I, I can't share my screen with you because uh, I think since you're doing it on your iPad, I can't. Um, yeah. 
Um, well, I'm gonna post this on YouTube, so I'm going to. St- I'll just. Sh- I'll talk it with three. I'll talk it through with you now, and um, okay. and then with my YouTube video, you can just you know see the uh, important stuff. So once yeah. you log in to your PayPal account, um, uh, you want to go on to Tools, and then you want to go on to Alt Tools, and um. What you do is you scroll down and you click on something called PayPal buttons. And you're going to click open on that. And then it's going to come up with a bunch of uh, uh, different buttons. And then you can choose one that has automatic billing or, you know, installment plan. But automatic billing is, you know, the one you're most likely going to do. And then you can click on that and then you can set it up. You can do it for. You can do automatic billing, and then you just follow the steps that PayPal has, and um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, you, you can choose check inventory, then you can do that if you wanted to, or yeah. So yeah, you just create the PayPal button. Just. Do everything that they say, and then yeah, everything. That's it. <laughs> so that's how you would handle the billing. Um, of course, people are gonna want to bill in different ways, and the great thing with the PayPal billing is they can use credit cards on it. I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not hundred percent sure if PayPal charges for like any fees or something like that. I know Stripe does, but I think PayPal may. But obviously. That. Yeah. So yeah, that's just a quick way to you know set up building billing and yeah. So if you have any more questions, you can just feel free to message me. And this has been awesome. This is great. I should you know. Uh-huh. So uh, thanks for yeah. reaching out and um you know good luck on your journey. Keep me keep me updated. Yeah. I'm like you know. Oh. I will. Hey, I have one more question. Yeah, yeah. Not question, I guess. Just, um, so when I got my first client, I didn't really have a niche, so I just kind of went through like. Whoever, mm-hmm. right? And I got a client. It was a small client. It was for um, um three hundred dollars a month. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's how we all so started. Um, I was getting half of that for ad budget, and then half of that for myself. Yeah, yeah. And then so I got him results. So my ad budget for his ad budget was one hundred and fifty dollars. What kind of I business was he? I got him really good results off of it. Mm-hmm. And then he just didn't pay me because I said I was like, well, I'll take the ad budget now, and then at the end of the month, if I get you results, you can pay me the rest. Okay. Right? And yeah. I got him really good results, and then he just didn't pay me, and I was like, <sighs> Yeah, that's the. Yeah. And and let me guess, he just completely ghosted you. He just did. He yeah. just like. Okay. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's just you know, that's what happens, especially when you're starting out. Cause um, you know that's what just that's yeah, just people that's what just people do. Yeah, but um, you, I guess what my best advice for that is to you know make him sign something, make like make him sign something, make him you know make it so that's like he can't escape from paying you, or make him pay you the three hundred dollars up front, and then you can just use your own card for. Uh, um, the ad ad spend, and then you know, as soon as the end of the month hits, you know, take off the cards. So, you know, he can't keep using it and stuff like that. Um, so I mean, that's what that's just what happens when you just start out. So that's why you just you want to just get both parts in full, especially if it's that low amount, like three hundred dollars. Just get just get it both in full, and then just use the hundred fifty for the ad spend, and make sure that you like have a formal agreement of like. Now. Yeah, yeah, and I mean that that sucks, but at least now you know. And honestly, it's good for you because you still got experience from it, and you know. So it is what it is. Yeah. But yep. All right, all right, cool. It was nice talking to you. If you have any more questions, just you know, feel free to message me. We can also do this again. All right. Let's see. Catch you later, buddy. In case.